Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is dedicated to ColourPop. And I'm just going to be showing you guys what I recently bought in my ColourPop lipstick haul. <laughs> I currently bought 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 lipsticks. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to swatch them for you, try them on, tell you why I like them, and pretty much that's it. So if you're interested in that, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I just took off the lipstick that I had on. So I have three different categories. I purchased ultra matte lips, ultra satin lips, and ultra glossy lips. Honestly, only purchased one glossy lip. Sorry. Didn't even realize it. But I have a vast majority of ultra matte lips and ultra satin lips. So I'm going to swatch them for you, and then I'm going to try them on, and then I'm just going to... We're just going to go from there. This is going to be a really simple, really just basic video. I'm going to begin with... The ultra matte lips, I'm going to go to the satin lips, and then I'm just going to do the glossy lip. So first up, I'm going to go from light to dark, or like nude to reds, maybe. Yeah. First up is the ultra matte lip in the shade Aquarius 2. So it's a little bit of a nude. It's a lighter nude. So you can see the color right there. It's like a really pretty nude, and it does dry down matte, but it's just still wet right now. So this is the shade Aquarius 2 in matte. Um, it is drying down. It just, they just take a little bit. But once they dry down, they are a really nice matte. So now on to the next. This is the shade Midi. So as you can see, Midi is the top one. It is just a little bit lighter than Aquarius 2. It is definitely of a lighter nude and it just is really like a light light pink which it actually matches my shirt pretty good so then on to the next the next shade is Times Square Times Square is the very top one it is more of like a rosy nude it's not as like nude as the middle one it definitely has more of like a little brown hint in it This is the shade Times Square on my lips. It definitely is more of like a deeper nude, but this is like my kind of color girl. It is stunning. And it honestly suits my skin tone like perfectly. So onto the next, we're getting more into like the deeper shades. So this is the shade Wild Nothing. Cute name. I'm obsessed. Sorry guys, that was a horrible swatch, but it's the very top one. It's more of like a deeper reddish, like rustic red in a way, but it's not like really bright. This is the shade Wild Nothing. This is a gorgeous color for the fall. Like I cannot wait to wear this color in the fall with the leaves and the pretty colors. I'm pumped. I'm obsessed with this color as well. <laughs> the next color is Tool. So as you can see right there, it is the top one. So it definitely does have a little bit more of a hint of red in it. So again, this is the shade Tool. I can picture this like Christmas or Thanksgiving. Like wearing this color on Christmas or Thanksgiving. So cute. And the next color is called Bumble. So it's the top one right there. It's more of like a strawberry red. And I think it's gorgeous. Like if you're wearing like a sundress or like anything with a little hint of red in it, it would complement it so nicely. Again, this is the shade Bumble. I think it's so pretty. It's like a really like subtle down red. If you don't want to wear like a bright red, this is definitely like the perfect red for you. So next, the shade is Top 8. So right there, it's the top one. You can definitely tell it's more of just like a deeper red compared to Bumble. is the shade top eight it's gorgeous it's more just like a like a deeper rosy color definitely like a deeper rosy it's so pretty 
so pretty and the last ultra matte lip I know my lips are like dying right now my my lips are like becoming a mess I'm sorry I'm not that good at this <laughs> but the next color is creeper and it's a like a bright red it's so pretty I obsess over bright reds like this like I I can't you can see it's that very top one it's so pretty and so bright girl people will look at you if you are wearing this oh my god my lips I don't know how people do these swatch videos because my lips are literally dying right now. And this is the shade Creeper. I know, isn't this stunning? I love bright reds like this, especially for like Christmas, mm -hmm, or Valentine's Day, or just going on a date and you want people to look at you in your nice clothes. Yes, honey. Yes. So those are all of the ultra matte lips I purchased. Yeah, right? <laughs> so many. So many. But I love ColourPop. They're like my new favorite lippy brand. I don't know how I was so late on the bandwagon. So now we are going to move on to ultra satin lips. These are like the same formula as the ultra matte lips. Just they don't like dry down like the ultra matte lips. They pretty much just like stay shiny and they stay a little bit tacky they don't dry down like these so now we are going to move on to those another thing is their red lipsticks stain your lips by the way okay so first up is the shade aquarius and these are the ultra satin lip So this is a really pale nude, as you can see, it's like very pale, but it's perfect for like a everyday kind of look. The next shade is called 951. So as you can see right there, it's very like brownie, but it kind of reminds me definitely of brown sugar, but it looks gorgeous on the lips. As you can see, it's definitely like a more nude brownie lipstick. <laughs> um, I'm losing names, sorry. <laughs> but I definitely love this color. This is like one of my favorite colors. Next up is the shade Echo Park. So that right there is the shade Echo Park. This is like the perfect nude tone for me, like my skin tone. So I love this color. Just so pretty. So next up is the shade Calypso. Yeah, Calypso. So that is the shade Calypso on the top. It definitely has more of like a rosy tone in it. This is a stunning color. I feel like I keep saying that about every single one of them, but I can't help it. I love them all. They're all just gorgeous colors, and I feel like ColourPop is just a wide variety of colors where like you just love them all because you're good at picking out colors. So next up is the shade Frickin' Frack. This is like the most red-toned one I have in the Ultra Satin Lip. So there's Frickin' Frack right on the top. It definitely is like a burgundy color. I definitely can see that now. And this is the shade Frickin' Frack. It's so gorgeous. Like, please tell me how this color is not gorgeous because it's like a perfect fall color, once again. Like, it's perfect for the leaves and apple picking and pictures, like, in the leaves. Oh my god, it's so pretty. So pretty. So next up is the shade mess around and this is more of like a brown this is like definitely a brown so the top one is mess around as you can see it's like a very like toned down chocolate kind of like make like a milk chocolate in a way and this is the shade mess around this is definitely like a chocolate fall winter color definitely i wouldn't necessarily wear this in the summer i don't Usually I stick to like pinks, reds, rosies in the summer and then like deep colors like this in the fall and winter. And this is the Glossy Lip in Aquarius. As you can see right there, it's on this end. It's definitely like a new toned glossy and this is what it looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye guys!